love. Yeah. A dollar per player playing? That's crazy, player. Play on. That'll be next Wednesday at the same time of 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific. But before we can get to Wednesday, we got 12 questions to worry about. All right? Here we go. Let's hop on this trivia trolley. Real quick, birthday shout out. Going to Crip. He's 14 now. Happy birthday. Uh, who else? Uh, Steven, you're 40 now. That's, that's what's up. And uh, Rob. Rob is 28 years old. High five. From a distance. Okay. Question number one. What does the M stand for in the name of global tech giant IBM? Machines, mousetraps, or mallow cream? Wait. Oh! Much of today's high-tech equipment has roots somewhere at IBM, like the ATM, electronic key punches, and barcodes which really lives up to the company name of International Business Machines. 93,630 of y'all hit the right code. <laughs> You're going to question number two, babies. Woo! Yeah, I'm so proud of y'all when you get it right. Even when you get it wrong, I'm still proud. Unless you get it wrong when I tell you the answer like I'm about to now. Question number two. Gravity pulls objects towards the center of what? Attention, Jewish studies, or Earth? Earth. Pick Earth. I dare you. I dare you to pick her. Because that's the answer. All right. If you want to nitpick, any object with mass pulls other objects towards its center. But the effect you're going to notice throughout the day is how your car doesn't fly off into space because the Earth is tugging at it. Earth! People still got it wrong! What is going Why? 91,000 of you, thank you for trusting your boy. Even if you didn't trust me, you knew it was the answer. You're good. You're good job for you. Oh, by the way, I got to tell y'all about the erasers on HQ, okay? If you got one, you can tap it during a question, right? You tap that eraser, and then one answer option will get erased, giving you two answers to choose from. So try it out on the next question if you want to. Flush out. Here we go. Q3. Who was the official White House cat during the Clinton administration? Mittens, socks, or boots? <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right, presidential pets are about the only area of White House history that isn't shot through with controversy. And that's only because we can all agree socks were soft on mice. Yeah. There's nothing to argue. It's a fact. He just was. Look at that, Clinton. <laughs> I mean, the cat. 66,957 of you got it right. Socks, y'all. You guys are scratching the home. Do a gift drop. Here it is. Tap that thing. Mm. Girl, you look good when you tap the gift drop. Use a fine age cutie when you tap the gift drop. Tap it, babies. Tap it like crazy. See what you got. And then let me know in the chat. Just tap that gift drop and let me see what you got. <laughs> Question number four. Knocking on your door. Here we go. What is the usual technique for winning the game of Nim? Distraction, brute strength, or math? Why do I read it like that? I sounded so, so, uh, <laughs> so... What is the usual technique for winning the game of Nim? <laughs> I like, I'm going to read the whole, okay, here we go. This game is so old, nobody remembers its origin. But you can play anywhere there are pieces of stone and an opponent. You take turns by removing as many as you want from one pile. Whoever takes the last item wins. If you play, make sure you're armed with math. Yeah. <laughs> that made me so uncomfortable. All right, check it out. 50,371 of you just got it right. Let's go. Hey, by the way, we're going to do another gift drop later. So hold on to your thumbs or your index, whatever you're using to tap your screen. Hold on to it. Question number five for the children. Here we go. Some weird words to pronounce, but I'm prepared. Which of these is not a fried dough dish? So, puppy, yes. Goriba or Schneeball? They're all foods. But one of them is not a fried dough dish. 
sub five pias, gorbia, or <laughs> schneeballin. I'm, I just made myself hungry. I don't know what the heck none of these are. All over the world, people love carbs, right? Especially Money Flip. I've been making my own pasta. And they're even more delicious when you fry them, okay? But if you're living healthier these days, you got to stick to the more sensible shortbread cookie known as gorbia. It's like Moroccan. Sometimes they put the coconut on it. I knew what it was. I was just, I was just messing with you. Ha! <laughs> 36,078 got it right. I don't know what a schneeballing is, but if anybody makes one, Send us a picture at HQ Trivia and we'll put your schneeball. <laughs> we'll show it. We'll show everybody your schneeball. Okay? Cool. Question number six. What musical term means a rapid oscillation in pitch? Tremolo, vibrato, or swung note? A swung note. Swung note, sweet Terry. Okay, <laughs> what? Nobody's more creative than musicians, right? That's a fact. They figured out how, uh, you know, they figured out every crazy thing you could do with a note, a chord, or a beat. And if you hold a note, but you let it flutter steadily up and down in pitch, you might get a pleasant sound of vibrato. Like this. Take a look. I will always HQ. 33,594, y'all just got it right. And you vibrating on to a sanitizer break, y'all. Santa sanitizer break. Sanitizer break. Hey, sanitizer break. Give it to me now. <laughs> sanitizer break. Woo! Clean your hands. That's what I'm trying to tell you, all right? Make sure your hands are clean at all times. Come on now. I love you. Question number seven. Let's get it. In the Simpsons opening credits, what is the next sequence after Bart leaving school? Marge shopping, Lisa soloing, or Homer working? What's it going to be? All right, you only had 30 years to study for this, okay? So, I don't want to hear too many complaints about difficulty. When Bart goes skating down the sidewalk, the action cuts straight to the power plant, and Homer's mishap with that green carbon rod happens. I thought it was a nuclear rod. But look at it. It's glowing and green. Whoa, it's glowing. What is that? Whoa, it's more sanitizer. <laughs> Crazy. 18,296 of you got it right. You're skating like Bart Simpson on the question number eight. You about to skate. Don't be late. Question number eight. Whoa, let's go to work. Oh. <laughs> It's not five. <laughs> Anything can happen when you're live, all right? Sometimes the five sound like eight or the buttons are too close. It happens, okay? Well, here's question eight. And that was Nate. Cheers, Nate. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Here we go. Q8. What athlete reportedly missed out on billions by accepting a flat fee instead of Nike stock? Spencer Haywood, JoJo White, or George McGinnis? One of these guys really dropped the ball. <laughs> Usually, a $100,000 payday is nothing to feel too bad about, right? But if this guy's crystal ball was a little clearer, he probably would have gone for 10% of Nike stock, which would today be worth 10 figures. You got to make sure you plan better, Spencer Haywood. <laughs> Yowza! Oh, my gosh! That's a savage question. Woo! That was savage, savage AF. Now you're out of the game unless you're using an extra life. Pretty savage. <laughs> I'm gonna get a guitar and we're gonna tune it and it's gonna be it's gonna be dope. I promise. Here we go. Question number nine. Hope you're feeling fine. Woo! Yeah. What was the last nation to change its flag design? Malawi, Mauritania, or Myanmar? All right, in the last 10 years, there have been four flag overhauls, right? Plus the all-new South Sudan flag. Most of these changes were in Africa, but the most recent, less than three years ago, was the two red stripes added to the Mauritanian flag. They were like, we need, we need more stripes. How do we get more stripes on this? And then they put them in there. Look at that. Oh, that's savage again! 
second savage one dang show. How many more savages do we go? I don't know, but it's time for another gift drop. I feel it. Tap it like it's hard. Tap it like it's hard. Wait. I want to see some gift drop emojis, y'all. So let's let's go. Let's throw something in the chat. Put up the gift box. I know some of you got to find it if it wasn't in your recents. It's there. Okay. Let's go crazy. We're having a party. Can we crash the chat with the HQ gift drop? Come on. Some, what People was getting crazy numbers yesterday. 400 extra lives. 2,000 coins. It was, it was pandemonium. Some of y'all ain't getting nothing, but that's how gift drops work. More emojis. More, more, more. That's so crazy. There it is. Gift drop, baby. It's in your face. <laughs> There's a gift dropping in your face. Woo! Tap that thing. Don't hurt nobody. All right. What'd you get? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> it's a bunch of stars shot up from my crotch. <sighs> that was refreshing. <laughs> Q10. Here we go. What breed has won the most Petaluma California's World's Ugliest Dog Contest? Chinese Crested, English Bulldog, or Neapolitan Mastiff? Neapolitan Mastiff. I knew that. Just for the record. Okay, sometimes mixed breeds are involved, but seven out of the last 20 titles have gone to dogs with some Chinese Crested in them. Oh my goodness. That is three-time champion Sam. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Sam is a, he's a good boy. 5,973 of y'all are barking up the right tree. And moving on to question number 11. That question was about dogs. All dogs go to heaven. Question number 11. Let's go to work. woo All right, here we go. The first major league team called the Milwaukee Brewers is today located where? Baltimore, Detroit, or St. Louis? be on this lovely Saturday night. Milwaukee has been a brewing city for a long time, right? And four different ball teams have reflected that, including the present-day Baltimore Orioles. In between, they took a trip south and were called the St. Louis Browns. Baltimore, y'all! 4,467 of you are moving on to the final question of the game! Question 12! What's that smell? It smells like $5,000 about to get split up! Woo! Let's go! Final round! Break it down! Come on now! Don't stand around. Woo. Yeah, let's go. I'm hyped. Oh. <laughs> Question 12, babies. Here it is. 30,000 people still watching me be silly. I like that. I'm going to take my tie off of this. Come on. Yeah. We're getting crazy. Woo. Okay. Here we're going to open this up. Yeah. Let it flap in the wind. Question 12. Y'all ready for this? Okay. Translated literally to Spanish. Which of these phrases is a palindrome? Female administrator, vaulted passage, or red eye? What is it? All right. Here we go. I hope you tapped right. This is $5,000 at stake. Whew. Yeah. Palindromes come in a lot of languages. And Spanish has some good ones, right? Like, uh, uh, reconocer, just to recognize, uh, sometemos. We subdue, and oh yeah, uh, ojo rojo, that's red eye, baby. Yes, we have 3,069 winners. Wow, flipping stuff. <laughs> Sorry, I got so hyped. I just like when people win. It brings me joy. Look at that firework explosion. Come on now. Getting money. Matt was funny. What if I put my tie on before I finish this? I can't put it back. It's just too far gone. Shout out to the best hand in the three. <laughs> UCI eaters. Brett Metstang. Superman 97, Nancy Grew, what's up, baby? Chad 1M coming in with the money. You better go ahead, Chad. That's what I'm talking about. Richard's mom. You're my mo 
My mom? It's my mom? Mommy! Mommy! I love you! <laughs> That's crazy. All right, check it out. Way to go. You guys did that. But uh, I like to think everybody who plays HQ is kind of a winner. You know what I'm saying? You either make money or you learn something, right? So come back tomorrow night and win again. You can do it.